Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Today it's gonna be a Photoshop tutorial and what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate this uh, thumbnail that you see on this video and uh, I'm gonna explain you why. So the other day I found uh, on my hard drive an old backup, it contained my music directory, including a bunch of uh, functionality mix that you can see here. I downloaded a bunch of them back from in 2014, 2015, so it's been like, I don't know, seven, eight years, you know, this was going on. And I downloaded those mix, uh, they were made by a DJ called DJ Dimsa, really cool, really made like so many different mix, really nice, and the functionality ones uh, called like a deep funky jazz beats. They were so good, I downloaded them, I wanted them on my phone, I wanted them everywhere. Uh, I just downloaded those five here. And uh, when I found it, I was like, oh, that bring back such good memories. I want to see like uh, if he made new ones, you know, so I, I look at it, I, I find this, I don't find the second one, the third one, I don't find anything. Uh, it's like all, it's not the same video, the same mix, the same uploader otherwise. So there's just this one, the number one is from 2013. It's been re-uploaded re -uploaded by two channels, but you can see none of them is DJ Dimsa. And uh, if you look uh, DJ Dimsa, what happened to DJ Dimsa? You can't find any of the old mix, mix cloud. Uh, I think it's gone, or maybe it's not the right one, this one. But like his mix cloud is gone, his like uh, SoundCloud is gone, his YouTube is gone. Uh, and there's this thread on Reddit that I found. And then there's a bunch of other people from four months ago that are just like, what happened to him? Like uh, all the songs are gone, all the content was, uh, and basically like nobody knows. Uh, and people are so sad that uh, the music is gone, you know. So what I'm gonna do, because I have this backup and there's only the first one online, I want to uh, re-upload everything I have to share it with people because they're gonna be happy to be able to listen to it again. Uh, but one thing is when I downloaded it, I didn't, I just downloaded the audio from the YouTube video. I don't have the thumbnail. And um, I want, I was like, okay, that's a good opportunity to just recreate the thumbnail in HD, like in a bit less pixelated than this. And that's what we're gonna do today. That's a bit of a big intro, right? So, um, what are we gonna do? Basically, if you look here, you can see the number three was green, the number seven here, we see it was blue, number five here, it was a... Uh, why is that picture over there? What the fuck? So the number five was uh, green, and that's about it. We don't see we don't see them all. But then if you keep looking, uh, that's the Instagram page, actually. That's still online. That's the only thing that's still online. Number two was uh, this red. And that's about it. Number six was blue like this. So with all of that, we have, we know a bit the colors. We need to recreate everything. Uh, and we're gonna open Photoshop and uh, and see what's up. So what I'm gonna start by doing is uh, extracting the thumbnail from uh, from this video. And the cool way to do this, I find, is to um, to use actually the terminal. And I'm gonna use the command YouTube dash dl, and then I can do list thumb mails. If I remember properly, I pass the URL right there. It fetch a bunch of, bunch of metadata and then you can see the thumbnail. Even the biggest one is like 336 by 188, which is not great. I'm gonna open it in my browser. You see it's even more cropped for some reason. And turns out if you delete all this garbage over there in the URL, you get the proper thumbnail. So we're gonna copy that. Inside Photoshop, uh, I'm gonna create new from my not from my clipboard actually, I'm just gonna make it a 180p thing. So I paste this image here and we're going in the tutorial. So uh, let's convert it to smart object. I'm just gonna check OBS, making sure it's recording my screen properly because sometimes I forget, I'm just thinking, I'm just uh, recording my face and then you don't see what's on the screen. I have PTSD from spending hours recording video and there's nothing at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. So actually, the aspect ratio is a bit different, so I'm wondering if we should make it if we should make it 16 by 9 or if we should just keep the original aspect ratio. What do you think? Uh, it's not a live stream, so actually you can't think much about that. I can see it's like uh, 1440 by 180. I think that would be like the best uh, the best fit, it's like kind of a standard resolution, I would say. So um, so we're just gonna fit to it proceed and now we're good we're just right right there uh it's perfect what i'm gonna do i don't like those black borders here i'm just gonna since we're recreating it i'm just gonna 
continue the little line over there. And so from there, we have our template. We want to recreate this line pattern. In the beginning, when I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, it's maybe so complicated to do. I do need to do them all one by one. And it turns out uh, there's an easy way to do this. So I'm just going to pick a line that we see pretty well, which would be which would be that uh, this one at the, on this side, because there's no text in front of it. So I'm going to see very well what's going on. I'm going to go and just, I don't know, I'm going to imagine this line is going, you know, if it if it was prolongated, it would go like around around here. And so then I'm going to start and draw with the pen tool, which is like a vectorial tool on Photoshop. I can move everything later easily, which is good. And you see I'm following it pretty closely. And that's not bad, but this part here, I can press command and then move it. And then it's uh, it fits it fits a little bit better. So you see, you can move it. I, I like to be like extremely, like a bit too much perfectionist about this kind of stuff. Anyway, if I click here, okay, it's keep going. So then I, I would like it if I can just go all the way here. And yeah, you see, it's pretty, it's working pretty well. It's like, uh, I said, look at this. It's like pretty much right on the path, completely on the path. Even at the top here, I think it's uh, pretty good. Maybe I can move it tiny bit here. And hopefully you see here, it's not as, it doesn't fit as much. I can press command again and like go adjust it a bit better. Overall, it's not bad. And then I continue my thing. I just go like as far as possible on the right. Doesn't matter that much. And here I have a closed shape uh, and I can from there go and put a solid color and what solid color we're going to use. We're going to use this one, this brown over there. And um, what we can do at that point, actually, since this one was perfectly here, we can just duplicate it. And uh, if I, here you can see I can move it everywhere. If I press shift, it's going to lock it on the same axis I started moving. You can see 264 pixel, 262? Hmm, 270. A few moments later. I think it was 262 or something like this. Because if we do it again, 262. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that all the way. Don't let me do the exact same thing. So then I'm just gonna duplicate. Anyway. So minus 262. Yeah, it's right there. We found it. Same thing. Right there. Minus 262. This one I can just use a background color because it doesn't matter at that point. And um, and that's about it. So what we want to do, I'm just going to duplicate this layer and put it on top so we can grab the colors uh, pretty easily. And uh, I'm going to add the background color with actually that brown that we had found. I'm just going to copy paste it. And then uh, I think the first one I had on the left is going to be this brown. Then this one is going to be, I need to put it above. And then this one is going to be yellow. This one is going to be this orange. We have another orange. Uh, and then we go back to the same brown as before actually. It's, um, do I have it somewhere? No, I just need to keep going. Oh, this one maybe is going to help. Yeah, right there. That's the same as we had in the beginning. And then I need to add a few more. So that's this one for this. And now I'm going to copy it. It was 262, right? So I can do just a uh, plus 262. And then this one is again uh, brown. plus 262, we get a yellow, light yellow, and then another 262, and it's yellow, yellow. And that's pretty good. And now if we remove this and we put our, we can put that in a group. So command G. And then we can toggle it on and off and you can see it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn 
good, if you ask me. So, uh, so, 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 so now we need to put the text as well. So how do we do that? Um, we go back here, actually, we hide the group and we're gonna recreate this text with the text tool. And we're gonna type functionality and it's in the same brown as this one. I'm just gonna copy paste it again. It looks like the same brown at least. Here we go. It's totally not the same brown, no, it's the other brown. It's uh, this brown. And we go back in there, here, cool. And now we need to find the proper font for it. So it's actually, I looked it up a bit before, I'm not just blindly doing this video, it would take even longer than it already does. Uh, it's actually impact, impact regular, pretty much. Uh, it's yeah, if you put it there, but it's not the right size right now, so we're gonna increase it until it's uh, happy. It's like the good size, maybe 200. 200 is way too big. 150. 150 is a bit too big. So 140. It's like just a bit of trial and error at that point. You can see it's uh, in italic, but uh, Impact doesn't have an italic font. So how, how do we go about that? Uh, we can actually use the transform tool if I do a uh, Apple T, command T, and then I press command again, I can, I can, uh, how do they call it, screw the thing around? What do they, screw, S-K-E-W, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. And we're gonna, we're gonna uh, try to screw it. Uh, I can even input a number here. I think, yeah, okay, minus 10, minus 15, minus 15 is pretty good, minus 20. Minus 20 is right there, no? How to tell, maybe a bit too much, so minus 18, you get it, minus 17. I think that's pretty good. All right there, minus 17 was our, you see I can overlay it, and it's, and it's nice. And I had this thing in the text tool, actually you can see the VA, here it's like the vertical, extra alignment by default impact looks actually like this. It's more, uh, the letters are more close to each other. And uh, what I did is I put it at 20. I did it earlier already and to remember the setting. And now it's like perfectly fitting. Maybe it's a bit less than 20, it's like 18. Actually, what did I use just earlier? 16, I think or 17. Well, anyways, I'm always overly, overly maniac about this kind of stuff. It's not really necessary. So we have our functionality text. It's pretty much the same. That's good. That's really good. Look at this. So now we can duplicate it and we're gonna write deep funky jazz beats. And we put it down below. It's much lower font. Oh. Interesting, you can see when I screwed the thing, it like actually changed my font size. Mm, that's interesting. Well, it was good like this. So 146, fair enough. And this one, what do we want? We want, uh, let's try this 50. 50 is not big enough. Actually, it's kind of close. So let's try 60. Keep going. That's way too much. 55. All the way until we get there. Uh, I think the size is good, but the, the spacing is not the same. So let's put 10 here. Maybe even less. 5? This is just impact regular at that point. 0? Yeah. Yeah, this one have no extra text spacing. It's just the plain, plain old impact with the extra 10 screwing on it. That's pretty good. Uh, and now we have the mixed by Dimsa. I press Alt and I drag it and it duplicates it. And we're gonna overlay it right on top, you can see it's pretty much the same font, font size and spacing and stuff, kind of different again. 
at that point, I think it doesn't, it's not such a big deal. Am I right? So I'm gonna call it a day with that. Um, well, we could make it a bit less than that, but whatever, that's good. That's good enough. And now, if we enable our group one, which contains all the nice cool lines, we can see we got this. And that's pretty nice, if you ask me. So now uh, we can try and do, I'm gonna do, so this is gonna be lines. Keep it organized a bit. Text. I don't need this no more. And now what we want to do is uh, the coloring. And so for this, we can just go there. We can see functionality too is right there on Instagram. I can, you can't copy it like this from Instagram directly. But we're just gonna screenshot it because I don't need it to be like super high quality. I'm just gonna drop it right there. And now we can uh, either take those colors and like recreate it. But there's something that I figured that's actually even easier or like kind of, that I find kind of cool personally is we go there and we create a U saturation layer, which allows us to shift the colors of our background, like just rotating the U bar. And we can see that we get in a pretty, like that's probably what he did in the first place to create this image. Cause by just rotating the U of the original colors, we get pretty much something very, very close. It's so like, that's basically the same one from the original, you see? Minus 31, that's about it. And you can see with this, you shot saturation. I can delete this mask, we don't need it. That's a uh, func2, I'm gonna call it functionality2. Actually, I'm gonna make a group, I'm just gonna remove that. Make a group called func2 with like the screenshot of this and you can see it's so much the same. So that's really cool. I'm can, I can remove this now, I can hide it. And we're gonna uh, do the same thing now, but with a, with a number three, which is right there, this one. Let's screenshot it again to get an idea what's going on. And uh, let's keep going. So we can actually duplicate this U saturation and we keep rotating it until we get some green. Where is the green right there? And it's not as perfect as the first one, but we get something, you see what I mean? And here, maybe we're gonna have to tweak a little bit more things. Maybe this one, it went with the color from scratch, I don't know. But it's like, it looks darker a bit overall, so we can change the lightness and we can see it's gonna pull everything a bit darker, but we don't want to do that too much Either. So maybe what I can try is add an extra contrast layer. And I think it needs a bit of that contrast because it's that picture is very contrasty in the first place. So you can see it's pretty much. Oh, I'm gonna keep going with that. I'm not sure if I should put the brightness or the contrast before or after. I think before is better, uh, after is better. And then I keep rotating that. You can see it makes a bit more sense now. And then Saturation, I'm not sure I could increase or decrease the saturation a tiny bit. Change lightness around here. And with some trial and error, I think we can get somewhere interesting, you see? Yeah, minus 10 maybe, a bit less saturation. There's just this one over there. I'm not sure what to do with it. It's not the exact same color, but overall, I, I don't know how much how much time you want to spend on this. You know, probably not as much as I do, but uh, yeah, I definitely needed to remove the saturation a bit. It's hard to tell. Let me let me take this, and just like put it as big, like just make it match in some way. How can I do that? I think it's something like this. Yeah, it's not, not completely there. Not the exact same color, but uh, I think it's all right. What do you think? A bit less, this minus 20 maybe. Saturation, maybe a bit, mm. I'm not sure what to do. But you, we, got, we got something, I, I can spend a bit more time later on. 
to figure something about that. I really want to just keep tweaking. No, come on. So that's, that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna call it funk free. And then we can keep doing that. And normally the f number four is not around here actually. Um, I'm not sure if someone ever saved the... Uh, hmm. Number four. I don't find it anywhere. So the number four, we're, we're kind of gonna have to guess. But the cool thing is like uh, five is around there. Six was blue and seven, we don't have it here, but I found it somewhere as well. Uh, number seven was blue as well, as you can see here. So another kind of blue. So how did I figure that last time? If we remove this, we had a new U saturation. So let's say number one was orange, then we shift a bit on the left, we get the red. Then we shift a bit on the right, we get the green. Then we shift a bit more on the left, and we get probably, no, maybe we get a purple. So number, number four was probably some kind of purple, because it's like this going back shifting on the left a bit more. And then number five was some kind of blue like this, as we saw earlier. Where did I see that? Number five, you see? And then number six was another kind of blue, which was probably all the way on the other side. So it's like, yeah, we're starting from the middle, doing left, right, left a bit more, right a bit more, left a bit more, right, like you see? So my guess would be that number four was some shade of purple like this. So I'm just gonna do this. And we don't have an example because uh, there's no trace of this mix online. So I'm just gonna put it in a group funk four. And then uh, we can keep going. Uh, by adding another U saturation on top, please. And uh, number five was this uh, this thing here. Did he post it on Instagram? It's the best quality I have, and number six is right there. So we can do that again right here. Number five. And for this, we go back all the way. Was it? Yeah, it's definitely less saturation, so we can desaturate everything. You can see that we're getting pretty close. We're getting so close. Look at that. It's still a bit too saturated, I think. Minus 70. Yes, that's it, man. That's, that's it. It's funk 5, right there. You see it? That's, that's the same one. So we keep going. Funk 6, I opened it already. And it's getting quicker and quicker, some of them. The green one was pretty tricky, I think. Maybe it needs like a manual processing for the green one, but otherwise, the other ones were pretty pretty trivial, I would, I would say. So with this one, we go back all the way. Actually, I need to remove that. Okay, we go back all the way left-ish. I would say much less saturation again. And Minus 70 again, no? Pretty much. A bit less, minus 65, minus 60. Something like this. Or maybe was it fully on the right at that point? No, less, less saturation. Minus 70 actually makes sense. This one is a bit different, but I think... Mm -hmm. Was there a bit of lightness tweak? A bit more contrast? What is it? It's hard to tell just looking at the colors like this. So you can see me just fucking around basically with the thing. Sixty of contrast. I got something. It's kind of there. A bit less saturation. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, it's kind of that. Uh, maybe a bit more here. I 
Or maybe this one was made differently. That's totally an option. Okay, I'm just gonna put it put it there, minus 175, and you get the idea. Actually, I kept tweaking a bit. I couldn't really figure out for the number six like uh, what it was, because it never really matched properly. And then I realized there was this colorize option right there, and then it uh, really recolorized the whole picture instead of uh, of shifting the U. Uh, it actually works. It it matches so well. The I mean, so well. It's pretty good, to be honest. It's pretty damn good. I don't even need the contrast anymore, pretty much. And you can see right there, about here, it's the exact same colors. Like, I don't even need the contrast uh, the contrast node anymore. Hey, it's... Look at this. Maybe a tiny bit of contrast on top. Anyways, I'm going to spend the whole day on this. But look at this. That's exactly the same thing. So this one had an extra colorized step that makes it uh, perfect. But this, yeah, it's, it's really cool to figure exactly the, the settings that they originally used to produce those, uh, those pictures. And then the number seven, I mean, do I really need to do that? Just, just to say it's complete. Just gonna take a screenshot of this. Pop it on top, actually. First, I'm gonna group everything else. I can hide it, and we keep going with uh, U saturation again, right below this. We find this nice, more saturated blue kind of thing. Yeah, this one matches pretty well. It's just a bit less saturated, like minus 30. Minus 40. Minus 40 is good. And right there. Right there we have it. Functionality 7. And oh yeah, now we need to add the numbers as well. That's another thing we can do. I'm not sure how deep we need to go in this video. It's like probably kind of getting long. I don't even have downloaded the number six and number seven, so I won't need the thumbnail myself. But um, I mean, at that point, maybe I'm gonna cut the video right there because it's like, a, <laughs> it's a bit redundant, but it's like, we need to find the font again, maybe tweak it a little bit exactly like we, like we did for the text and add it on top and find how to do that. Three. Oh, they're stacking together, so it's creating something weird. Four. Four, we invented it because there was no trace of it online. Number five is like this, pretty good. Number six, number seven. So there we have it. And uh, what I'm going to do next, once I finish tweaking, fine tweaking everything, uh, I'm going to re-upload them. Maybe not on my channel, because it's not my own content really, but I make like a DJ Dimsa tribute or something channel. I'll upload everything I have. Um, that's pretty much it. And obviously, if you have uh, any of his mix, let me know, send me a message. There's my email on the about page on YouTube and stuff like this, because I really want to get more of, uh, more of his content. And if I can re-upload it, that would be awesome. So yeah, that's it. Have a fantastic end of your day or whatever is the time at your place. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.